Hi, this is the fourth video in the playlist on dealing with higher value. No, it's not. Uh, dealing with indices. <laughs> okay, I'll start that again, shall I? <laughs> Hi, this is the fourth video in the. Um, series on dealing with indices. Uh, they are aimed at a, a star grade at GCSE, so they're a little bit tricky. And because this is the fourth video, it's going to take a little bit of time to follow through. If you're not sure about any of the principles that I've talked about, that I talk about in here, please do link back and have a look through to some of the other videos to give you some idea. This particular question is going to be graded at um, a star type level. Um, and it's worth about five marks, so it's a fairly high quality um, question. It does take a little bit of time to work through, but hopefully you'll, you'll be able to follow me on the board. Um, if there are any questions, please don't hesitate to add a comment below, and I will always read them, and I will always come back to you. I've got 81 over 16, and that's going to be the power to the power of minus... 3 over 4. Okay, now anytime you see a minus in these sort of things, firstly you're dealing with a reciprocal, so you've got to flip it around the other way, but also um, you just got to remember it, and I think once you get to these sorts of things, you really do know that it's a fairly high level question. Okay, so because it's a reciprocal, or because it's a negative number, I'm going to flip it around the other way. So what I'm going to say is, is that this is exactly the same as 16 over 81 to the power of one quarter. Okay, so I've flipped it around and I've made it to the power of one quarter. I'm going to multiply all of that by three. Okay, <laughs> right, so that takes a little bit of time just to get to grips with, but you might want to stop the video and just see what I've done there. I've flipped it around the other way, I've made it to the power of one quarter. And then, or what I've done here is I've split these into two. So what I've said is, is that um, three quarters is the same as saying um, one quarter times three. Okay. And again, if you look back, I think at video three, that'll give you some idea about that. Okay. Well, if you, again, if you look at one of the other videos, if you see you've got powers of a quarter, what we're saying is the fourth root. So I can rewrite that as, I could actually say it's the same as saying 16 to the power of a quarter divided by 81 to the power of a quarter. Now if you see that, um, it's the same as saying the fourth root. So what we've got here is the fourth root of 16 divided by the fourth root of 81 and that's cubed. Okay, now it looks a little bit complex at the moment, but they generally do tend to pick these numbers so they work out usually fairly well arithmetically. Um, because really they're not testing you on your arithmetic skills, they're testing on your ability to manipulate this to get to a solution. Okay, so the fourth root of 16 is actually 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. And the fourth root of 81 is actually 3. <laughs> okay, so you've got that also cubed, and that's 3 because 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. Okay, so the numbers are looking a little bit easier to deal with, but you've got to remember that if you've got this fraction to the power of 3, like we did on one of the previous videos, what we're saying is, is that this is the same as saying 2 to the power of 3 divided by 3 to the power of 3. Okay, and it's very important that you multiply each of the numbers by the power itself, by the indice itself. Okay, so we've got 2 to the power of 3 is going to be 8. Okay, and 3 to the power of 3 is going to be 27. And that actually answers the question. So you've gone all the way from there to there. It's worth something like about five marks on a typical GCSE exam. We'll take a little bit of time to maybe work through, and I do suggest that you do as many practice questions as you can with these sorts of 
questions and hopefully that should be okay for you. Um, please do add a comment below, I will always come back to you. Also please subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.